Good morning, Ludlow High School. I'm Sophia Manuel. And I'm Gabby Godbout. Welcome to the Friday, October 5th edition of the Lions Roar. Before we get into the show, could you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'd like to start the show with a few announcements. The Spanish and science teachers are organizing an educational tour of Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands for Saturday, April 18th to Monday, April 26th, 2020. Please join us for an informational meeting on Thursday, October 11th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Please let Mrs. Sands or Senora Sierra know if you will be attending or are unable to attend but are still interested in learning more about the trip. This week is National Yearbook Week. The yearbook staff is already busy capturing and preserving this year. Check them out on Instagram, LHS underscore yearbook all this week for sneak peeks of the 2019 yearbook. Don't forget about the underclassmen sale going on until October 8th. Go to yearbookordercenter.com and enter code 5035 to save $35 for underclassmen only. Attention seniors, your class dues of $20 are due by Halloween. Please hand them to Mr. Ray, Mr. Woodman, or Mr. Kanjemi. On October 15th, the Spanish Club will be holding the Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. It will take place from 2 to 4 p.m. in the cafeteria. There will be food, music, movies, dancing, and crafts. It is free and anyone can go. Fall Fest is coming up October 15th to the 19th. Please check the Lions Pride Google Classroom for Spirit Week information and Battle of the Classes updates using Google Classroom 8E8IXP. Attention all leading lines. Volunteers are needed at Vets Park for an after-school math program and their final fall family night. Please check your email for details or see Mr. Halpin. This week, we'd like to continue our teacher profiles with a new teacher, Mr. Nason. This week, I caught up with him and asked a few questions to get him to know him a little better. Hi, I'm here with new LHS teacher, Mr. Nason, and we're just gonna ask him a few questions as well. Um, where did you work before this? Uh, I was a teacher at Central High School for three years, and even before that, I was out in Pittsfield, so. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? I spend a lot of time with my son, Lincoln, and my wife, as well as our dog, Georgia. We go for a lot of walks. What is your favorite class to teach? I like algebra the most. I like to be able to use it practically outside of school. And who's your LHS best friend? Of course, my wife, Mrs. Nason. <laughs> A new shop will soon be opening up in Ludlow that is accepting donated prom dresses, which will be offered to high school students who may not want to overspend next prom season. Here to tell us a little more about the shop and how you can donate are Miss Anna Cargo and Mrs. Tulick. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. A and Mrs. Tulick. Can you tell us about your new shop? Sure. So we plan on opening a new shop called Second Time's a Charm, and we hope to be offering beautiful prom dresses to any student from Ludlow High School who would like to get a prom gown and not pay $400. So we thought of this idea over the summer, and we have been collecting gowns. Uh, the shop will open probably in January and will be open straight through prom season. Um, currently we have about 120 gowns to choose from um, and it's a great opportunity to be thrifty and be able to afford a gown without spending ton tons of money. It's also a nonprofit organization so it's tax deductible as well. So we're looking for high school girls who are willing to get rid of dresses that they're not wearing anymore that are just sitting in their closets. Or if you have older sisters or friends, um, a great way to clean out your closet is to donate to our little shop. Um, it's called Second Time's a Charm. So if you have any dresses that you're interested in donating, Mrs. Tulick and I can um, pick those dresses up. The shop location is yet to be determined, but we will know by the end of this week so anything that you want to donate, we're willing to take dresses, gowns, jewelry. Purses and shoes. 
Uh, Mrs. Nemeth is also offered to collect them, so you can always bring them to the office, and they have a spot they can keep them until we can pick them up. So more info to come. Today, during fifth period, all students will be watching the next video in the Believe in You series. Here with some more information is Mrs. Nemeth. Good morning, Ludlow High School students. I just want to take a few minutes to remind you that this Friday is an early release day, and we are going to continue to show our Believe in You videos. So if you remember last early release day, we showed a video on Mark LaRue, who uh, challenged you to step up, and it was basically saying, if not you, who? So this Friday, which is another early release day, during fifth period, your teacher will be showing you another video from the Believe in You video series called Aspire to Excellence. I'm just going to spend a quick minute reading to you what the video is about so you can possibly get excited to watch it. So the video is, with a difficult home life, Mark Henry used weightlifting as an escape. He says he learned to replace whining and complaining with hard work. Just showing up is half the battle. Then it is up to us to decide how hard we're going to work. As long as you show up, why not remember Mark Henry's passion and give it your very best? He believes it is his responsibility to teach others to aspire to excellence at all costs. So this month's challenge is to aspire to excellence. So we also are having our teachers have in their drawer a little note card and at the front it says believe in you. This note card throughout this month will be distributed to some students who perhaps the teacher believes you aspired to excellence. So you might see this appear on your desk, just a little note reminding you that we believe in you and we hope you aspire to excellence. So that is it. Happy Friday. Now here is next week's lunch menu. There is no lunch on Monday because there is no school. On Tuesday, we'll have vegetable soup, pulled pork on a roll, seasoned rice, peppers and onions, and chocolate pudding. On Wednesday, we'll have oven-baked chicken, oven-roasted potatoes, seasoned carrots, and fresh fruit. On Thursday, we're having chicken parmesan sandwiches, potato rounds, three bean salad, and pineapple tidbits. Lastly, on Friday, it's mozzarella sticks with marinara sauce, seasoned rotini, seasoned spinach, and fresh fruit. Now let's go to Autumn Snow with the, this weekend's weather forecast. Hi, this is Autumn Snow with the Weather Show, and today is mostly sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 41. Saturday is sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 52. And Sunday is mostly sunny with a high of 76 and a low of 58. Now back to you. Now to give us some LHS sports scores from the past week and a schedule of upcoming games, here is Carson Kowalski. This past Friday, the football team made Woodstock Academy sit down with a score of 13-6 behind a stout defensive line led by Zach Dunn and Chance McLean. Also on Friday, the girls' soccer team tied Longmeadow in a tough game with a score of 2-2. The girls' volleyball team caught a close win against Belchtown with a score of 3-2. On Monday, the girls' soccer team had a blowout win as goalkeeper Carly Smith held Chicopee dry with a score of 5-0. Also on Monday, the girls' volleyball team fell to Amherst with a score of 3-0. Now let's catch a nice gander of the upcoming games this weekend. Today, the golf team will head to Minichog to take on the Falcons at 3 p.m. Also, the boys soccer team will head to Westfield for a tough matchup against the Bombers at 4, who will fight to remain undefeated. The girls volleyball team will head to West Springfield to face the Terriers at 5. Lastly, tonight, the football will take a ride to Lee to face the Wildcats, who will try to keep their three-game win streak alive at 7. Now back to you. Well, that's it for this week's show. I'm Gabby Godbout. And I'm Sophia Manuel. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you all next Friday.